Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo and welcome back to the Aquatic Dome. Today we are having a quite special episode because this is the actual first episode um, on the new computer. I'm going to talk about that a little bit uh, further on to this episode, but today we're going to build the underwater aquatic cave and this is going to be very interesting because... Um, yeah, I've, I've been I've been spending a lot of time. So there's a whole bunch of footage that went into this one. Uh, we've done this uh, through, you know, during various uh, streams, and you can see me doing some fixing here before uh, we head over into the underground area. Um, you know, as the uh, seals are a little bit weird when it comes to the traversable area, um, this uh, was actually very much needed to be done. Um, otherwise, we would have an issue. And yeah, I forgot some animal settings, some basic stuff. But yeah, you can see I was just doing some random stuff here to make sure that the animals can can move and are more willing to go inside but yeah so now we are starting basically uh, to make this area in general just a bit more beautiful but I want you to talk uh, talk you through the idea behind this whole process a bit more so when we are coming in this uh, whole thing we are coming from the more South American slash tropical area a lot more towards the Arctic area and um, or let's say the um, colder water area and in fact also it's from uh, from salt water to fresh water or the, the other way around. I think it's the other way around, right? It's from fresh water to salt water. Um, because yeah, that makes sense because the river otter uh, lives in fresh water uh, as I'm, uh, I'm not sure here by the way, I'm, I'm confused anyways, but one or the other. Um, and so this are, uh, these are actually two different water volumes because uh, also the temperature of the water has to be um, changed because obviously the one is colder than the other. You know, as you can imagine that the tropical water is a lot more water, warmer and uh, therefore also less rich or more rich on uh, minerals and stuff like that. I honestly have no idea, but I know it, that the water quality is definitely a different one. Um, I have not really an idea. If you guys have more info on that, please put it down below in the comments. I'm always willing to, uh, yeah, just... Um, get more info about that but honestly I didn't have the time to look it up this time before the episode because I have spent the last two days uh, together with my brother to make sure everything is running again so now after I would say eight to nine hours in total the new computer is fully set up it's fully done there's a whole bunch of stuff that we needed to do um, in order to get it to run I think we installed Windows three or four times we installed different things three or four times just because um, there were a lot of things not working properly the main board um, is a very good one but the problem with the main board uh, for those of you who want to know it's the um, Asus uh, Rock Strix uh, 490 Gaming F or F Gaming how you want to call that and um, it's it's a pretty good one but again it has some issues it seems with the chipset driver when you install it um, that it doesn't really have uh, Ethernet internet connection and so we didn't have internet and without internet obviously we couldn't do anything else and then at some point I figured we have to use a Wi-Fi adapter to make sure that we can do it and you know, it was quite a struggle um, and we needed to download a new version of Windows because the last installation stick I got is like two years old and apparently the Windows version was too old to work with the new chipset drivers and all that kind of st beautiful stuff you have when you build a computer. Um, but other than that, it, you know, the building process, uh, props to my brother, that went really smoothly this time. I'm still very confused um, how this actually worked out in the end, but it did. So apparently that's pretty nice. But yeah, um, before we talk more about that in a dedicated video, I'm going to prepare for you guys, but um, yeah, it's going to be rather impressive, I guess. Um, I am very much blown away by this computer because the performance increase in, in multiple areas is insane. But um, actually, the fun bit is that the graphic card obviously stayed the same, but the rest is everything else is just way better than the old one, which is cool. And finally, it's something that is really a bit more... Um, thought through you know the the whole the whole system is a bit more um adapted to it uh, to itself a bit better um a lot more things that make sense together uh, rather than my old one which was becoming more and more frankenstein because i got always new pieces for it and then just you know slapped them together uh just when i had money for one new piece and this time i saved up until until i was able to um finally get a full new rig yeah except the graphics card i would have gotten a new one but well they're not available so well no then i guess no um, but yeah, so um, we are now finally in a transition area between one area and the other. So this is in the lower part of this whole building. You can already see the struggle. It has been rather um, complicated, to be honest, to make sure that everything is in line, everything works just fine and 
yeah, there are so many things that just didn't work the way I wanted them to do. I tried to have like a little pathway over here where I could put some benches, but I figured at the end I'm just smoothing it out as much as I can um, to get a bit of a nicer seating area here. And that was it. You can see that the ground is actually carved out because the, there are the barriers actually from the yeah from the build. It, it was a bit complicated. I. I really don't like it. Um, and also, by the way, this is the reason the reason why this episode is so late today. It's basically because uh, it took me like another four to five hours uh, to set up Premiere Pro again, um, just making sure that everything is, is fine and every source uh, material is working again. The transitions are back in. And the thing is, I'm not using Adobe Cloud, um, not because I can't, it's just because I don't want to. I don't know, it just really destroyed too much in the past. And so... I'm still using the local version just to make sure um, that I have my stuff on my hard drive where it belongs. I don't know. It's just a little bit of a, a thing, you know. Um, but now it works. Everything is fine. Uh, microphone is working. Uh, the sources are working. Transitions are working. Everything is fine. Everything is good. And now I can do it. So, yeah, we are down here in this area. And this area in particular is pretty nice because this is something I have been wanting to do with the aquatic pack since the beginning and we haven't done this in particular we have done quite cool stuff in yosemite we've done quite cool stuff also in um in this project already but we haven't really done this like a a fully detailed indoor viewing gallery that is really also not even um just one it's actually two for the seals and for the penguins and then also and this is the one thing i really love the most we we still have some other stuff incorporated in here we have some really cool little details that you will see in a bit um we have the shops in here as well where people can grab some you know foods and drinks and and just the the freaking chance to get some stuff i mean this is so cool because I, I wanted to build this from the beginning just to have something interactive as you would find this in a real zoo, you know, where you also don't just have the cave. Sometimes you have like a shop down there where you could get some ice cream or whatever. So I, I really wanted to have something that uh, you're really excited to go down there. And since this is a full journey and it's, it's like a tour, um, this is also the reason why I'm very happy this worked out. And, uh, you know, I also decided to put some patches of snow everywhere. Um, I think this might be fake snow because you would not have it super cold down here i mean it would definitely be colder over here but you know you wouldn't have it like a complete uh, freezer which i mean you could do obviously when um you would then provide the people also with some jackets and stuff but uh since i didn't i mean uh, this is not the best idea to do so yeah and now we come to my favorite part of this area and yes this might be this might be confusing but it's true this is my favorite part because this over here is going to be something um, more for the people that love the realism aspect in this game. Now, one thing that is obviously a bit problematic with the whole build so far, disabled people could not get in here. So I need to make something in order to make them get there. And the, the problem is that when you come from the South American area, you just cannot get down because there is a staircase and then you can't get any further down simply because you have to move somewhere. And this is one thing I'm building right now. And this is going to be an elevator for people in a wheelchair or maybe if, you know, even also for some uh, stuff that you need to bring down here to the shops and stuff like that. So it's rather important to have it and then you just can go here and this is what we are doing we're just building like an elevator door and this will be copy copied over to the upper side and then um, disabled people have basically to take the tour the other way around and then they have to be um, moved into the areas um, uh, by the wheelchair or something like that i think this is this is still very feasible and i'm very happy that i could do something that works this way i still have to figure out how to get them to the bigger um area but i think we will make like a little ramp to make them get there so to the upper layer every area i just couldn't make it so that they can take the same tour it's just not feasible i mean i have an idea how to squeeze that in from the outside but it's just not really possible to do it from the inside so um i i thought for the moment i'll leave it as it is um, but as the elevator design is done now, um, I'm rather happy uh, that it works. And also, of course, we needed to have some uh, actual elevator numbers over here, like level zero, level one um, that's going to build here. And, you know, just just pretty simple. Um, I didn't like the little arrows uh, in the or like the arrow piece in the middle. So I decided to do something else that looks a bit more like the classical one. I don't know. I just wanted to have this classical one integrated here, just making like this little pointy arrow that sh shows you on which level the elevator 
picture is right now. And the reason, obviously, why I put the toilet in there is just to make people go and just, you know, have have a bit more of the immersion going on. And so, yeah, the, if you if you were wondering what I'm doing with the cube here, I just wanted to have like a little idea of how big the um, uh, airlock needs to be. So what I was going to do there is like I was building like a little airlock um, that will help you get in there. And now we are getting uh, into my favorite part of this episode because this is something I'm very curious to hear your reaction on. I built something that I have uh, had a good memory of when we've last time uh, we've been to a zoo in Wuppertal. Um, I saw some cool bits of uh, backstage props or hiding the backstage and I wanted to build this in here. And please let me know in the comments down below if you have seen this already, either someone doing it in Planet Zoo or in real life, because this is something uh, I was... I was really happy how it turned out and this is most yeah most likely the my favorite area of this build so far which is weird I know I'm weird but still um, you can see that I'm building something around uh, the energy provider here or the generator I should say and the reason why I do this is to create like a fake door into into these rocks over here you can see um, the idea is actually to make this all vanish behind a more or less um, natural natural rock looking wall and then there are these opening things are like tied into into the rock so they are very much hidden away in in the looks of it and I am a big fan of that I I really think that this is something um, that really helps to sell the the realism aspect of it and I'm really happy that I did it this way so yeah just putting some little props here and there um, putting some you know information also in like some education this one is also going to be hidden away pretty nicely in here you can see I'm using these rock pieces to make sure it's all looking uh, rather integrated into the wall using some of these rocks over here the fake rocks and making sure it all kind of you know ties together uh, in a nice way and then I found something oh my god I really was so happy that I found out how they work together so I found these um, glowing things from the Australian DLC together with the little spotlight or it was not really a spotlight but uh, something smaller that provided some cool lighting and you can see over here I figured you know making that a little bit more bluish could actually provide for like, kind of great looking arctic effect at, at nighttime and so yeah I ended up doing this which to be honest, uh, uh, yeah, it, I don't know, it just looks so incredibly good that I was really going a little bit mad with it and putting it everywhere. But I think um, that this is something really that sells a lot more the idea of being a very realistic space. And I'm going to go for the thumbnail today with a dark looking area as well, just to make sure that you guys know what you're looking at. Because, oh my god, I think this looks so cool. I think it looks really, really, really nice and really well. And yeah, it's just something I'm uh, pretty proud of, to be honest, because I wanted to do this for a while and then it turned out so nice looking. It's something I'm just very happy about. And then, yeah, I turned it into a green looking light just to have sh make sure that we have also the same light going on over there. We were, we were going to check this also in the lifetime part um, just to give you a, pretty much of an idea what this is all about. I think this is um, something like the final touches already in this lowered area. Um, there are a few things I still need to do, some benches, bins and so on, making sure to see how the people walk so that they don't go too much through different um, scenery pieces. And yeah, I'm, I'm also putting down, <coughs> excuse me, a lot of uh, lanterns and stuff in here just to make sure that this all looks good. But yeah, sorry again, I just needed to stop all over the time because my voice is, I mean, I don't know why, but I've got so much issues at the moment with my voice. Um, it's it's insane. Um, but I'm trying my best uh, to, to give it still to you and not making it feel too cracked. Uh, but here you go. This is um, something uh, I haven't talked about at all because it ha you haven't seen it, but I have done already quite a bit of sneaky work. This is going to be the tour guidance. It's kind of a little carpet over here. You can see I grabbed it from somewhere. It's a little hidden area that I'm going to show you in one of the next episodes um, but this is kind of cool because we have this little carpet that lets you go over and also one of the big important things about this carpet I mean not in the lower area in the best case this is not going to be wet, uh, wet over here but um, on the upper layer it might be that the floor is going to be a little bit more wet from the animals splashing water all over the space and then these things are also like um, making sure that the people do not fall over and not slip 
Um, so these are kind of rubber rubber mats or like rubber carpets, however you want to call them. And on these carpets, you have some, you know, some arrows and there are some indicators of, of which animals were and, you know, um, different types of talks. As you've seen, I put a Animal Talks uh, logo in there. So this is going to be very cool for a later experience in here. So you do not only have this dome, you will also have a lot of talk areas in here that I, um, yeah, well thought through because I have also some areas where they can sm uh, smash some food in. Um, and we have these underground viewing areas and we will have like an overground viewing area, and everything like that. But you will see this a bit better in the real time part, which is going to start in a few seconds. So let's hop over and see how this looks in real life. All right, guys, here we are in the real time part and it is uh, kind of crazy. We are rocking 110 FPS in this project so far. This is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, we are down here in the underwater viewing of um, the otters, as you can see. Uh, unfortunately, I'm, I'm bugging a little bit into the water volume. There we go, out of it. Um, this is just when you go into Tajit Camp, it's a little bit too big. But yeah, uh, this is not what we wanted to look at because that's not a part of our today's thing. I'm just always getting distracted by this insane view here. I mean, just just look at that. It's so cool. But yeah, this is where we where we actually want to look at. This is the area where it is going to be exciting. So this is the double airlock, so to say. Oh, actually, it's one airlock, but we have it on both sides. The airlock that goes into the aquatic area and or the Arctic area. It's both aquatic, but you can see some little snow effects, snow falling from the top, falling down here, and you've got you know some lovely little snow on the on the ground. So just to you know kind of create the immersion. And then we are over here, and this is already what you need to see. This is the underwater viewing of the seal. And on the other hand side, I'm just going to try to keep out of the water volume a little bit here. Um, on the other side, there is going to be the penguin habitat. And the reason why there is no one swimming over here right now is pretty dang simple. It is because I have no guests in this park over here. I'm going to enable the guests now, and we will see each other exactly at this point, and then hopefully the animals will uh, start to swim around, so we can have a little look how this looks in action. All right, we are back and unfortunately I don't want to swim in here anymore. Um, I saw that there are a few issues. I unfortunately haven't loaded this park uh, after the patch and basically the patch destroyed everything. Um, so the animals can't just swim in here. I will have to fix this, but uh, there's no way I'm fixing this right now. Um, sometimes they will swim here eventually, but they are doing this very, very seldom and they seem to on kind of constantly checking their deep water need and they, they switch between 100% and zero in like 10 seconds uh, rhythm and that's really not what I want. Um, you can see there are some animals over here. These seals don't dive because they have not the, the um, four, four meters requirements fulfilled which is a bad joke because this is like insanely big over them over here for them and on this side uh, we do have the penguins but you can see they are just uh, on the on the surface over here they do not go down. Um, which is a little bit of a pity um, and now someone is escaped and I don't know why but um, yeah so you guys have seen this part of it and we are going to go over here to the other side it's kind of loud over here because people following um, there's another viewing over here as you can see which is pretty nice and then on the other side you can see this is where the elevator is people coming out of the elevator that looks kind of cool people coming from over here and also if you hear the sound is very nice and muffled let me just quickly stay here so you can listen for a second Oh, well, I think it was not that easy to easy to catch, but okay. Um, so yeah, this is this is how it looks down here. By the way, you have Bo here speaking, which is pretty nice. Um, I always love it when I hear Bo's voice in this game. So she's still with us. She's not leaving us all the time. But yeah, so this is how it looks, guys. This is how it is. Um, and I really hope you enjoyed today's episode of this uh, deep sea. Uh, cave over here. I really am freaking happy about how it turned out and I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I do. But now have a good evening and as always thank you so much for your support. In case you enjoyed the content and want to see more make sure to subscribe. Um, that helps me out a lot and thank you again so much for cracking these 50k. Oh my god guys this is so insane. I really am super thankful. So um, yeah that's it and I hope to talk to you in the next one. Have a good one. Goodbye.